Systems engineers, if you want a great tip for the start of 2024, then I would look very carefully at the reporting metrics you're using for program management. And then if something isn't adding value, then get rid of it. Now, it's New Year's Eve. And first, I hope you had a great holiday season, however you celebrate. And if you're going into 2024 and you want to add more value, you want to have a little bit more impact. Even if you're brand new to systems engineering, what you could do is you could look at the different reporting metrics that you're dealing with. Maybe it's requirements metrics. Maybe it's uh, program management things. Now, some program management is needed. And also, in general, I'm a fan of earned value if it's used correctly. But uh, what I try to ask myself is, you know, what could I stop doing and still add value and have impact? Are there things that I don't need to be doing? Uh, there is a book by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan called The One Thing. Uh, there are other books out there. Es Essentialism is a different one. But it, they also ask the same question. Okay, what could I stop doing and still be effective? And a lot of times I've seen programs just have a lot of reporting metrics. You know, there's just a lot going on and maybe not all of it adds value. Uh, an example might be if you're tracking, let's say, requirements gaps, uh, but you're very early on in the program and you're, you're constantly reporting those numbers, again, making this up, uh, sometimes you don't want to do that until another year in the program, if it's a bigger program, okay? Because so early on, that, that metric is not useful. Uh, same things for late in the program. You know, you, you may not want to report on requirements gaps because most of them should be done already, that kind of thing. So. There's time in the life cycle of development. There's that timing. There is is the metric being used. Okay, if it's not, it should go. And then does it really add value? And by adding value, I mean, does it buy down risk? Does it help make tactical decisions? And does it help make resource decisions when there are resources to allocate? Uh, one situation you want to watch for is if you have these metrics and then all of a sudden, okay, we need more resources over, resources over here, but there are no resources because all the money's allocated. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot of sense in necessarily tracking a lot of metrics on you know what, what projects behind because on some level, if you know one's behind, but it's it's very hard to move things around. Uh, maybe you don't need that much detail. You should still take some type of metric keeping track of program health. I'm not saying get rid of all the metrics, but if you're spending more than 20 or 25% of your time as an engineer working that, and you're not also the PM or it's, it's not your role, then I, I would really ask, okay, is all this necessary? The good news is that that can save money, it can save time, that can be spent on the engineering, you know, to solve the technical problems, to fix the design, to, to redesign the bracket, for instance, or to just get another pass on writing the code to get rid of some bugs. So uh, I like to emphasize the technical, particularly if resources are tight, because at the end of the day, we need to deliver a working product. So again, you know your situation best, but I would, for the new year, ask this question, particularly on reporting metrics, project management, uh, some would say overhead, and just ask, okay, if we didn't collect this metric, if we didn't do this report, would that increase risk? Would it really matter? Sometimes it's not. So again, Happy New Year. I hope you had a good holiday. Uh, comment below what you think, if you feel you're over-reporting or if maybe you're under-reporting. Maybe there's not enough rigor and then the risk is, is really skyrocketing because, you know, the, the interfaces aren't right. So there is a fine balance. But uh, make sure you're not on a project that's overdoing it on the program side and then maybe at the expense of of the testicle. So comment below, let me know what you think and have a great 2024.